Dr. Yard is famous for his ceramide line, which I have not tried yet, so I was more than excited when I received a sunscreen from the brand in the mail. The Dr. Yard Everyday Sunday Mild Sun Cream SPF 43 PA++++. Despite it being an inorganic, aka mineral, sunscreen. These usually don't work for me, but as I had a few exceptions from that rule recently, and to be honest, because at that price point I did expect something outstanding, I was willing to give it a go. Well, let's see how that turned out. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. The Dr. John Everyday Sunday Mel Sun SPF is a lightweight mineral sunscreen that offers protection against both UVA and UVB rays. Mineral filters are very suitable for the most sensitive skin. The sunscreen is rich in swift gletscher milk and plant extract to make the skin more resistant against heavy temperature fluctuations. The product feels thicker than other sunscreens I have tried, like a firm cream, and takes some effort to spread. It is far from being one of the thick pastes I usually associate with inorganic filters, but still definitely not lightweight. It has a fresh citrusy scent, but very subtle. As last step in your routine, this one is applied after you did the rest of your skincare in the mornings or throughout the day for touch-ups. You need to apply enough to get the claim protection, and for my face, I measured three pumps. These three pumps took a while to be worked in the skin and left a very noticeable white cast, despite me being so pale. I could feel it on my skin all through the day, and it felt very uncomfortable when trying to reapply. What I did like, though, was the matte finish, one of the benefits of inorganic filters, and probably very interesting for those of you with oily skin. Regarding the sunscreen filters, there are no surprises here. Zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. The latter paired with aluminium hydroxide as protective coating. The mixture of both offers good enough protection in the UVB and UVA2 range to qualify as broad spectrum, but is lacking in the UVA1 range, and when not used in form of nanoparticles, is often cosmetically unpleasant, hard to spread, and leaving a white cast. There isn't much else in the formula that might offer skin benefits, some glycerin, as you and a few plant extracts. It does contain bergamot essential oil, probably responsible for the nice scent, but not what I would expect in a product specifically marketed towards sensitive skin. No, I will not repurchase. I don't like the texture, the white cast, or the ingredient list much. The only pro I can see for myself is the mattifying effect. If you don't have access to the more modern filters, though, or are very oily, it might be a good option to try. If your skin is sensitive or acne-prone, and you have heard inorganic or mineral filters are best for you, this is a, a myth and not true for more modern filters, and B, not true for this specific one, as it contains bergamot essential oil that I wouldn't exactly recommend for sensitive skins. If there's anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen, and it links to my Instagram blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye!